Okay guys, today I wanna to go over in a bit more detail just why the new Ford temperature blend door actuators like this one are failing so often. Um, and they're quiet, silent failures too. Now this is the new style, you can see it's all black, it's nice and compact, and the case around it is actually molded around the components inside, like the motor right here and stuff like that. So it's a very compact design, and this design is found in a lot of Ford models. So they basically made one unit uh, that was in the same style shell here, may mount up differently, and but the inside, the guts are all the same, so they all fail the same exact way. What happens is these ones, they don't have broken teeth on the inside causing loss of control or clicking noises. They lose their position. So the motor in here, uh, the output shaft, it actually loses position. So then it starts hunting and or quits and gives up till the next key cycle. Now the older ones here, which are these ones right here, you can see they're absolutely huge compared to these ones right here. That's the new style, that's the old style. It does the same exact function. Um, so you can see it's very, very compact design, and it's going to have some flaws. Just like the new purge valves, we didn't have purge valves forever, a problem with purge valves forever. Never since they worked at Ford until 2009. They came out with a newer, smaller design. Looked great, failures left and right. Uh, so same idea with this right here. I'll show you real quick on the inside of this one. Uh, the gears and why they break all the time, okay? So here's the inside of it. Real basic design, you have your board, your connector, your motor that drives it, your worm drive gear, your basically pinion gear, um, it's a transfer gear, pinion gear right there, and then here is a like an intermediate gear right here, and then here's the final output shaft. Now because these darn gears are so small, look at the little teeth on there, and they're moving a big old door inside of the, the HVAC case that can bind with heat cycles and stuff like that. And these little dinky teeth, especially these ones right here, they like to break off. So the rest of the unit is just fine. Everything, I mean, everything is just fine. They never have a problem except for the gears breaking. Um, even the tracking on here, you can see all the teeth on there, how much more beefy the tracking is. The tracking bars are on here and the... Um, the wipe right here, where it wipes back and forth on the track on there, much bigger, beefier design, so never an issue, just a gear issue. Now, let's go ahead and look at the newer ones okay, over here. Okay, I got the case off of this one too. Now, this one's an actual failed unit. Um, it was sitting there and just hunting, 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 and there was a loss of control with the, the temperature, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pull this one apart. Now, the teeth... The little tabs on here are already broken off. because This is a garbage unit, just, just for video purposes. So you can see it's still hard to get this thing apart. And it's an it's a integrated like clamshell design on here that actually overlaps quite a bit. So it's a nice strong housing on there, okay? Real strong housing, both sides, all good to go. Now, you just saw the other one. Now look at this one. Everything is right next to each other on here. Same exact setup, but it's all right next to each other. So everything's gotta be a lot smaller inside of here to actually fit and make it all work in this small housing. Now, what you'll notice on here right away is the size of these gears for the same exact purpose are a lot bigger, thicker in general, and just beefier. The gear um, pitch on there I think is bigger also. Like the other one might be uh, a 48 pitch or so. And this is maybe a 36. Well, maybe these are 40 and the other ones are higher. Um, but these are definitely a lot stronger gears, right? Take it out. Even the little pinion gear here. Nice and strong, okay? And of course, the output shaft gear. Wow, big time difference. The length of the shaft and the thickness of the gear on there. Never a problem with these breaking teeth. So what kind of failure is built into these? Well, you can see in the bottom side of the output shaft gear here, there's the same tracking fingers on there, I guess you could say, that track on the board. So it knows where it's at, okay? And the idea with these ones is to have even more accurate control over the position of the heater control inside of there. So what happens is these, uh, these contact pins lose contact with the track on here and that loses position. So everything else works fine, 
except for it's losing position on there. So what happens is, as you probably saw in my other videos, you request heat or cold air so it'll move over there and on the way over there it'll lose position. Doesn't know where it's at anymore. Doesn't want to go to the, the very end points and break anything off inside of here so it kind of just stops. Okay, and in the meantime, if it, it'll at first it'll hunt, it'll hunt back and forth, and it'll try to get its position again. If it cannot find its position, it'll lock out control of the heat, your, your, your HVAC temp control until the next key cycle, and that's why that's happening. You can see the inside, nice compact design, great idea, but the the contacts on here need some definite improvement. They they scaled it down, and they had to. Uh, but these, these contacts on here are not working. Um, they're failing left and right. It happens on just about all the Ford models. And it's happening way too often in a lot of these. Um, luckily, you can get without pulling the dash, but some of them, you have to pull the dash, especially the, the, the lower ones that are usually for the driver's side. Um, so that's how they fail. Is simply that and the wiper arm right there that the tracks are at. That's where it's failing. So they fixed one problem with the gears. Nice, big, beefy gears now, and now it gets loose in its position. So it'll just hunt there, and you'll, you'll have to change it out until a new one wears out once again. Uh, so I just want to go over that in detail. Hopefully this was informative. You got to see the old design and the new design and just how they work and or fail.